And there's Zephyr. Zephyr, a good girl. And Monty. Monty, a good boy. So this is our campsite here at the KOA at St. Augustine Beach. And that we're at the end of a row, so we didn't have another neighbor on our window side or our patio side of the um, RV. So it gave us a little bit of more room, and a little more feel open, but it is a very small site and I barely had room to park the truck um, on the site. Probably could have moved the trailer maybe a little bit more forward or something, but then that would put me farther away from the um, hookups, but it was, still would have worked. But anyways, so the campground has a little lake. You can fish and catch and release. The biggest draw to this campground is its proximity to St. Augustine, the city, and that you can take the tour bus right from the campground to St. Augustine, so you really don't have to drive anywhere while you're here. We enjoyed our stay here. It's a little more on the expensive side. I think these sites pre-discount was close to seven, like $79, close to $80. Um, you get the KOA discount, makes 10% off of that, so it was about $72 a night. A little on the expensive side, but you're paying for the location more than you are anything else. <laughs> Mr. Ingram 
was the president of the Standard Oil Company and uh, Henry's boss. So, uh, you know, he enticed him with a house there. I wish my boss would give me a house. This is Flagler Memorial Presbyterian Church. Fantastic. It's a sad story, though. Flagler's daughter, Jenny Louise, and her granddaughter, Marjorie, they both uh, passed away after complications at birth. And uh, Henry decided that he was going to memorialize them by building this church. It took yet less than a year. This church is amazing inside. I highly recommend that you take a look at it. Um, words can't describe how beautiful that this church is. See something? So what do you have? Strawberry cream. Well, good. with a lot of really nasty bacteria. Well, back in the day, 
before we had antibiotics, if uh, you were to try to climb somebody's cavity wall, you're going to cut yourself and then you're going to introduce all that bacteria into your system. And the chances of you losing your life or your limb are pretty high if you try to climb somebody's cavity wall. So it works with a great design. This is the Fountain of Youth. This is one of the oldest amusement parks here in the state of Florida. We have a very large population of wild sea cops that live here just because this is where they choose to live. The Fountain number 23, the Fountain of Youth. Yes, no more on and no more off. We are coming back to stop number one, the old jail. Up your bucket list, the lining, the helicopter rights, whatever. I'm going to go zip line this system. One guy told me he wanted to go helicopter rights. So, whatever your bucket list is. Well, let's zip line over the alligator, but alligator farm, that's something else too, yeah, that's that's for the lions. Yeah, that's for the lions. Yeah, that's for the lions. Yeah, where they had the go-go dancers in them. You could be Goldie Hawn. <laughs> Laughing. Cool. You can come out. You've been paroled. Everybody, this is Randy and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, like our upcoming video on Flagner College, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that we you know when we post new videos. Thank you, and we will see you down the road. Bye.